Let us look at the multiplicative identity of a rational number, right? Uh, before I go through this text, I will just explain to you what does this mean. Now, you know, you can have any rational number, let's say 2 upon 3, 4 upon 7, 6 upon 8, 9 upon 7, okay, and so on, right? Now, uh, multiplicative identity, okay, basically means what number should I multiply this? Let's call this as x, okay? such that the result or the output is actually the number itself. So the answer should be 2 by 3, right? What is the number by, by which I should multiply this particular rational number to get 2 by 3? Similarly, for 4 by 7, what should be the number through which I should multiply this such that the result comes as 4 by 7, right? Now, you must be thinking this is so easy, right? Because if we have to get the same number, the only thing I need to do is I need to just remove this x, I need to multiply it by 1. Same goes here, multiply it by 1. Why? Because we know that any number, any number multiplied by 1, okay, gives the number itself. Now how does it make a difference if this number is actually a rational number? Right? And that's the simple truth behind this thing. So 1 is the multiplicative identity for rational number. This is because if we multiply any number, any rational number by 1, then we will get the same number. So let's say in 6 by 8, if I multiply it by 1, I get 6 upon 8. Again, if I multiply this by 1, I get 6 upon 8. One interesting thing here is that, you know, 1 can always be written as x upon x where x can take any value, right? So even if you multiply 9 by 7 by, let's say, 10 upon 10, that also gives you the identity for this because 10 by 10 is equal to 1, right? So that's what we know about the multiplicative identity of a rational number. 